Hi, this is Lady Lex UK and this is Deconstructing Dreams. Today we are looking at Amenjo One's Liquid Geometry. Uh, it launched this a few days ago, uh, made it remixable for us so we can have a good look. But first of all, let's have a look and see what he's built. So we have a plane of cubes and as I move my cursor around, they are all changing and moving around. And if I just stay put, you can see there's a wave passing through them, like so. They're all moving. It's very impressive. You could link this up to music and make this into a visualizer. But this is like a basic demo of uh, the effects that you can do. Green before and now it's pink. There we go, now it's going pur purple. Fascinating. Okay, so let's have a look then and see how it's done. So when you first go in, it looks very simple. There's hardly anything to see. There's a microchip here. Um, there's a tag over there called start. There's all these cubes all lined up nice and neatly on a grid. There's a ball. That's just, just a random ball that's, that's sat there. And you think, well, okay, um, there's nothing to see. What, 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 what was going on? But with a little bit of magic, if we turn the X-ray on and then we turn preview invisibility like that, you can suddenly see there's a lot more to it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the preview invisibility off for now and we'll just look at the field of blue cubes. Uh, these cubes... Um, they're just standard cubes like like so with a microchip on and they've been cloned uh, and, and using a grid you've got them all nicely lined up um, on the grid hundreds of them to make our field and if I go into the microchip each of them these have got um, these are all identical these microchips because they are cloned the cubes are cloned so they're identical microchips they contain four gadgets and it's all pretty simple actually so you've got a look at rotator this look at rotator here is um it's got quite a large field it's looking through the entire place to be honest uh the whole thing um uh, it's looking for a tag called ball it's at 100 percent strength um this is the rotation speed um, of those cubes and here is the strength min distance etc so a hundred meter uh, range and that will take in the entire board uh, there's nothing on here to worry about so that's the look at rotator and then we've got the gyroscope that just makes sure that we know where up, up is and it's making sure it's uh, it's upright um, and again it's moving at the same speed as the look at rotator then we've got a trigger zone let's go into there uh, it's using things to detect it's looking for a tag and it's looking for the ball tag um, everywhere Okay, so that's just looking for it and the trigger zone um, just make sure it encompasses quite a large area there like that. Um, it doesn't use labels so that's not used. And when it's detected, when it detects that ball tag, it's doing this keyframe and what that does is drop the cube and has colored uh, the cube green so if i go into there like that you can see um, we've got green um, the tint is fully up and the position if it's so if i 
after and then after they are you can see it's normally um what well, it says it's white but um i think the lighting effects and everything in the world makes it look blue but when you turn it on yeah it goes green right um so there's your cube and that's that's going to move when it finds a ball tag so let's find the ball if we go preview invisibility there's our ball and this is basically the media molecule rolling ball that you can download in the dreamverse it's uh, hasn't been altered very much at all this is exactly as media molecule programmed it the only thing that's been added is the tag the ball tag which is what all these cubes are going to be looking for otherwise everything else is pretty much left alone and that's just been placed in there and that's the us that's what we're moving around this field and this invisible box here that is our uh, a field of play that is our border to stop it from falling off the edge and this um this one underneath is basically the flat surface so it's not actually traveling on these um moving cubes at all so it doesn't get stuck it's moving on a smooth surface so you get the effect without it actually getting stuck on any of the cubes or anything so um it, it looks because these are invisible you can't see those and it looks as if it's actually traveling on top of the uh these blue ones but it isn't really it's traveling on top of this this gray flat sculptor piece there okay so that's moving around um and you saw that it had that tag on it um the other thing to notice over here is this bar this is what's creating our wave that goes across the surface of um, the field and it's got some tags on it so you might have noticed when we played it there were some circular areas uh, that's because um, the the ball the these are, are looking for um, the ball tag with a circular trigger zone we might play about this in a minute and see what happens when we change things up but um, it's looking for a circular trigger zone so these tags here are going to create circular shapes uh, as they move across um, but it's going to create a wave as it as it moves um, so there's three tags on that bar the bar is invisible itself and on the bar is a microchip and this microchip has a mover on it there we go that's moving at five meters a second across the field in that direction and that's basically it in local space that's it that's all it's doing that's all that mover tag is doing and this is our teleporter and this is going to teleport our bar back to the start after this timer has run which is 17 seconds so um, this starts the uh, timer and then uh, when it gets to the end it teleports which then restarts the timer so every 17 seconds it goes through like a loop if you like goes backwards forward and there's our start tag there that's not part of the um, the bar that's that's just where it comes back to at the beginning right now somewhere else here is another microchip and that contains the music etc i think that's it let me try and zoom in on it there we go there we are okay so um here are all our instructions so the instructions here they're at the top of the page and they're on a selector toggle so when you uh, press the circle button this is going to toggle the um the instructions on and off and when you press the square button that's going to exit um the level and i believe this level is um one of of a few so that um when you exit you went to a different um style of effect another level entirely um so this doorway here um that just exits the level um here is our music uh this isn't being used um 
this isn't being used to modify this at all but you could um, use the the music here and the beat and the the notes and everything to affect these squares if you didn't want um, a moving wave or whatever maybe you wanted something uh, different to happen you you could do that I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of that but um, he's just put the music in it here for now and here we have the gradient effects the sun and sky now this action recorded i think what it's doing i think this is changing the colors you know, remember it went from green through to to pink i think the action recorder it's changing gradient effects it's going through a hue cycle so it's changing the hue cycle on the whole thing so we play there we go Action recorder. He's moving this along manually as he's recording, changing the hue cycle so that the colours change on everything, so that our blocks change colour as we go through, and we end up with a with a vibrant pink by the end of it. So there we go. That's what that's doing, and that's it for this. For this microchip and that's pretty much it i don't think there's anything else um to say to you about this um let's fiddle about with it a bit though shall we see what we can get happening with different effects let's change the trigger zone uh, let's see what happens when we make it a cylinder obviously different as a cylinder okay let's try it as a square uh, you can sort of see that it's a little bit more square than before still quite circular though it is slightly different there is a slightly different effect with those cubes which is quite nice there we go what happens if we do it as full scene different actually um, it just means that the uh, the field is 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 the cost the whole thing um, get some interesting effects going on all the cubes trying to face the ball if you notice it's 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 trying to face the ball everywhere so they're all turned they're not they're not flat they're all turned which is really nice slightly different effect on that so there we go you can fiddle about with this um oops i don't want to do that uh, fiddle about with this and change the the settings um to your liking um change the speed of everything change the colors of everything and like i say you could um, make this a real um music video uh music visualizer if you were to link it somehow to the music and you can do things like um, wiring up the composite note or the envelope of um, each of the instruments to the movement of this bar or um, the movement of some squares um, so instead or the movement of this ball even um, so you get different effects that actually match the music so there we are oh and there's a camera up there go into it whoa there we are it's just looking down at the whole thing there we are there's our camera but uh but the uh, obviously the rolling ball has a built-in situation for that so it starts off there with that camera and then the rolling ball takes over and um you get the camera angle for that was there something else there did i see another gadget that i've missed no i don't think so i think that's it 
so there you go a, a sort of short one for for this week but i think that um you'll agree that is a really interesting and and not altogether impossible to reconstruct if you wanted to make it yourself so it's not so complicated that you're looking at that and thinking i could never ever make anything like that ever um it might look like that to start with i think but once once you go into it and realize that it's actually quite simple little gadgets inside these microchips um it is totally possible to recreate yourself or you could also remix this version and then you don't have to worry about doing it all again there you go i hope you enjoyed that hope that was useful and interesting uh if you've got any other uh remixable objects characters levels demos anything you'd like me to take apart and explain um please uh put your requests in the comments and i'll have a look and see if i can do them i can't guarantee that i will be able to understand everything some people make um things that are so complicated that it boggles the mind and if they're not very tidy it sometimes makes it almost impossible to work out what they've done so um i'll, I'll do my best with whatever uh, you suggest for me to do otherwise uh, thank you for watching and i'll catch you in your dreams <laughs>